So I'm standing with Tony Zenham and Colton Leach. Now, how are you feeling about the fight? Are you feeling it's going to be good? I'm looking. Yeah. It's only one winner. Who's and who's that going to be? Me. Was, uh, you're very confident, Colton. I like. Hold on a minute. No. Why? Hold on a minute. I like the confidence that's oozing. Me. Hold on, from both of you. I mean, look, I mean, obviously there's a difference in size. You're both the same weight. I know there's a bit of grievance going on between the both of you, but you said well, you're going to set up. pudding weight. All right. I'm, I'm heavyweight. No, right. right. <laughs> he's pudding weight. Right, we'll leave the slagging out of it, right? But listen, you know, we've known this bit of grievance has been going on for a little while. We said we'd do it the old-fashioned way, get in the ring and settle it like this for charity. All for a good cause, fellas. It's for yeah. a good cause, Do you yeah. know what I mean? So That's and, what we agree on. Yeah. Yeah, you're agreeing on the good cause. For once. For once, yeah. But, you, you know, so you, are you feeling confident about it? Come on, Carlton, tell us the truth. <coughs> well, yeah, yeah. I, it's, it seems strange, because when you've known someone 20-odd years and, like, you've been out socialising with them and a, a little silly disagreement, it escalated and escalated, it's just got a bit niggly, so... Being like two proper men, and yeah. I do class Tony as a proper man, uh, until he gets in the ring and he becomes a woman. Um, no, nah, I didn't mean that time, you know, it's a joke's oh, joke. Bitch, <laughs> you know, sorry, sorry, what was that? I see you're on my bitch, you always have been. Yeah, let's talk to a proper man here. Yeah. Yeah. What we're going to be doing is, it's for charity, so we're getting there, and like the old days, setting out like two grown men. That's right. And that's it, yeah, and raise a bit of money. And how do you feel about it, Tony? I mean, apart from the fact no, of... No feelings about it. I mean, it's 20 years old, the event, like he said, on that night. He did, we're, he we're did map you off, didn't he, a little bit? Oh, no, not really, no. He, he can't map me off. He's got no, you can't say a bad word against me, can you? Really, in all fairness, you can't say... Nor anything. a good word, yeah, see? That's right, OK. Well, we, we're, we're ironing it out on the night, eh? Definitely, yeah. most definitely. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, you're going to shake hands shake now, Shake hands, yeah. I mean, we're right. men. Yeah. yeah. On the night, it's a different story. All right, <laughs> <laughs> right. So, we're going to leave it now with these two, right? Yeah. Going to settle it together, like men, yeah. in the ring. 25th right. of April. 25th of April at Troxy. They're coming down. Right, all right, easy. They're coming down, 25th of April. Right. Tickets are on, yeah, on sale, like right? <laughs> Can we calm it down, fellas, please? But, you know I mean? All right, calm down. Right, 25th of April at the Troxy. Tickets are on sale now. www.celebrityfightnights.com. Right, thank you very much. So I'm standing with the legendary Colton Leach, who's prepping himself for the fight on the 25th of April. Colton, how are you feeling, hun? Feeling good, feeling good. Just started training, um, looking forward to the fight and um, making a mug of Tony, really. Making a mug of Tony. Now, obviously, we've been going around and getting a bit of feedback from the football factory team. Who? Did you say, why is the foot soldier? No, 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 oh. football factory. Yeah. And they're, 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 their money's on denim. And they're saying because of the height and the reach. Now, I don't know which way it's going to go, and I've said it all the way through, I don't know which way it's going to go, right? But how do you feel? I mean, I, you know, that's not always a winner, is it? No, of course. Um, and everyone keeps seeing me smiling, saying, why do you keep smiling and everything? You're not really getting angry. Well, I can't. When I get... My always ways, I always smile anyway. Because like, I have to, it's, it's the way I am. So, um, you don't want to be ashamed of your health minister team, your anger anyway. So, I just smile at you and laugh. But, um, how do I think it's going to go? Um, let's wait and see on the night, eh? You can't, oh, look, I'm not being funny, but if you didn't see that on camera, he gave me a little cheeky wink. So, I think, I think Colton's quietly confident that something else is going to happen, unbeknownst to us, right? Now, I don't know who my money's on, but Colton, I must admit, you have been training hard. Yeah. I'll, I'll give you that. I'd like to thank the four people that are going to come along and support Tony on the night for the charity. That's good of Because the rest of the crowd are fucking behind me. <laughs> I must admit, he is actually bringing down... He ain't bringing down a team. It's more like a fucking army. But, yeah. But it is, it's going to be a fantastic night. Now, Colton, obviously... You've never been in the ring before under this kind of pressure. You're, no. I mean, you're known from Rise of the Foot Soldier as being a bit of a football, football hooligan. Game, yeah. yeah, so ha are you nervous about that at all? Kickboxer, I used to do full contact karate, who I spoke to you before about. And uh, so I've, I've done plenty of sparring. I was obviously looking after a world champion like Nigel Ben, jumping in the ring, and he taught me a few little uh, tricks and that, which I hope will come out on the night if I can remember them, being so far away. Listen, it's all about the charity. That's the most important thing, you know. We're two grown men getting in there, setting their little grievances. It ain't like we're going to kill each other. Well, I might do him, but this, you know, that's the way it goes. But uh, no, we're two grown men, and uh, we're doing it for a good cause as well. well that's everyone's got to understand. We're just we're showing people out there that if you've got an argument, do it the fucking right way. You don't need to get told up, 
jump out some dark alley and serve all that, all that. Get in the ring and sort out like man to man, two proper men. And that's what it's all about. Two proper men having a fight on the night. The end of it, we'll have an hug, shake hands, put that grievance to bed and we'll start another one. <laughs> exactly. This is what it's all about. Though. It's about getting back in the ring, settling your scores the old fashioned way. And the lovely thing about celebrity boxing is it's for charity. So come down 25th of April down at the Troxy. Thank you.